Well, this video is de <laughs> dedicated. This video is called Fake Ass Me. This video is directed to those who post videos, start a blog, and pull their video. I think that's punk ass shit. Now, get it back to my point. I have a seat here for you, because some of you people need me to sit down so you can understand what I'm saying. Lower this down some. Now, fake ass people. You upload a blog, and you get a uh, conversation going. And when it gets hot, you pull your fucking video. I personally think that is a form of cowardice need not be seen on YouTube. If you say something, at least you should do is stand by your words until all is said and done. I've seen people get flagged, tagged, and all kind of shit for stuff that they've said and done in videos. Um, I have said a lot of harsh things in a lot of videos, but none of my shit has been fucked off yet. I'm still on, I'm still up, and I'm still here. I try to keep it real. I will no longer comment on the borders. People's brains aren't even made right. You say something in a manner to provoke conversation and try to get something started to help some people, and it's twisted. Not just by the so-called racists who took my video and put all on their racist websites, because I don't care. If you listen to the video and listen to the actual meaning of what I'm saying in the video, then these people are wrong for putting that shit on their sites. If you hate black people, and you hate Mexicans, and you hate America the way it is, you're wrong for putting that video on your site. What I said in that video was to help all people, not just the Mexicans, not just the blacks, but everybody here in America. Because in America, the land of the free, allegedly, the home of the brave, sometimes, we don't have respect for each other. Not as a species, not as a race, and not as a group of people. We always say fuck them or fuck those guys. They fucked me over. They're messing with our people. Fuck it. Face it. Times have changed. We're in a financial war. And it's not against the Mexicans. It's not against the blacks. It ain't against the white people. But this is for those white people out there. You are not free either. This is for those white people out there who talk bad about black people. You are in the same boat. This is for those white people out there who think Mexicans are taking something from them. When is the last time you went and picked your own fruit? You look at the big picture. Our country has outsourced our money. We no longer earn any money in America. The big companies that left and went overseas to do their thing are some fake ass motherfuckers. They sell their products here for top dollar and they get them made for nothing. Then you get mad because you see somebody with something you don't have and all of a sudden someone has taken something from you. White man, you are not free. You have been misled like everybody and you feel bad about it. You've been duped. You've been fucking flim-flam. You've been fucked over by your own people. The powers that be are mostly your people. You don't have anything. You're broke. You're starving. Your kids can't do shit. You need. You hurt. And all that you've done for this country, they have left you to in the cold just like they've left everybody else. You are not free, white man. Yes, your people control this country. Yes, they do. But if you're not in the top 5% with them, what are you? You're just as good as the people that they grouped you with. They, they created that, that, that phrase, trailer trash. They called you poor white trash before anybody black or Mexican did. Your own people. 
You have been misled like everyone else on this planet. And your hate, your hate, put them in position so they can fuck you. Yes. The poor. The ones who have to work for a living. You might have connections. You might not have suffered as bad as anybody else has suffered, but you're suffering now because of your own ignorance to your own policies and you uplifted your own people to the highest point and they fucked you. You've lynched. You've, you've enslaved. You've destroyed, dominated, conquered, raped and pillaged nation after nation, people upon people, for your people. And what have they done for you? They put a black man in front of you. And the black man, the same one that you beat down for hundreds of years, is telling you to your face that they got you too. But you're going to see this video and think that I'm a black Nazi. You don't think that I, I'm pushing for everybody to go and start killing people. You're going to take this video and say, I'm anti-American. I'm not a patriot. You're going to take the same video and say, I have done something wrong to you because I'm calling you a slave. You're a junkie, a dope fiend, slave. Every label that you've ever put on anyone black or of any other color now applies to you because you were dumb enough to believe what you were told just like everyone else and now you hurt you're paying for it not because of me not because that Mexican down the street not because that nigger over there you have been snookered by your own people it was a white man that did this to white people. It was a white man that led us into the direction in which we're all going in. White, black, yellow, whatever. It was one of your people that did this to all of us. The founding fathers of this country itself owned slaves. The founding fathers got together and wrote the, the Declaration of Independence and, 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 and they put together the first... Uh, laws and everything. The first constitution was put together by all white guys. And these same white guys place stipulations upon you so great that your, 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 your patriotism was called constantly. It's all on us to do this. Strong white people do this, do this, do this. And what did they do to you? They forgot you. Out of all the fighting and everything that the white man has done for this country, the powers that be have forgot you. Out of all the killing and hatred that you spread in the name of your people, your people have forgot you. They cut you off. You're the one that did the dirt. You did all the dirt. You went and did all the dirt for them, and now they forgot you. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? When that man stood there in front of all those gangs in that movie, he tried to unite these people as one. What happened to Osiris? When you have a personality willing to join everybody white, black, Mexican, Oriental, Asian everybody that person does not live long your people made sure that happened so when you get on the internet and create a blog and start some shit don't pull your video off after you talk some shit you have been tubed by the best.